in 14 words, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, did you say I I did. I pulled out some new markers. I want to know what words you question that are identified up here. Which ones are you wondering about? Maya, is there one that you wonder about? Will. The word um, will. Okay. And what are you thinking? I think it's a verb. And what makes you think it's a verb? Well, um, because I looked it up in the dictionary. Okay. Um, and also, um, it is following a noun. It is following a noun. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Yeah, because because verbs sometimes follow nouns. Yeah. All right, who's got more evidence to back up what Maya's saying? Oh, Andy does. Trinity? Okay. So, right here, it's oh, very tense. Here. It says, oh, yeah. um, it I is a future verb. It says, we will. Yeah. Um, and it says, it's going to be future. Right. It's oh, here to so signal in verb tense yeah. that something isn't currently happening, but it's going to. Yeah, like so we need this in addition will. to our regular verb. Yeah, All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. So this is a verb. So we're going to change it. And um, anything else? I don't think there is an adverb. What does that say? Ah, okay. How yeah, do we term it? Because yes, just yesterday, right, we had an adverb modifying an adjective. Is that what's going on here? Is this word dear telling us about how sweet? Or is this one telling us about Fido? My dearly sweet Fido. Could you have like that, but there's no L Y. Yeah. There's no L Y, but is dear. They have an L Y. We have to determine: is it telling us about the adjective sweet, or is it telling us about the noun Fido? Fido. Zoe, what do you think about dear? Oh, I don't. Know. Let's say it's listed as an adverb. Is it oh. telling us about sweet, or is it telling us about Fido? Is it telling us how sweet? No. Is it telling us about Fido? Is Fido dear? No. He's your dear. Well, no, it's not. Could we take out this it's adjective? Your dear yes, you Fido. Could. Yes. Yes, you could. And then what would dear it's be telling us about Fido. then? Fido. Fido. So Fido. dear is telling us, describing Fido. He's a dear little Fido. A dear Fido. Yes. But I question Fido as a pronoun. Oh, you know what? The person who wrote this didn't label it as a pronoun. Oh. They put a P to tell me that they recognized it was a proper noun. Oh, right? is it proper a proper noun? noun? Oh, right, so that's a little right? confusing. I think we'll probably leave that off and talk about that we know it's a proper noun when we come to it. But this person, I know that they labeled it as a noun and they were thinking it's a proper noun. And How would you recognize it's a proper noun? Dominic, you could use a capital. So let's get back to deer. Is adverb correct? No, no, I looked it up in the dictionary. Okay, what is it? Zoe? I think it's an adjective. Because it modifies? Right, because it modifies a noun. That's how we know. Yesterday when we had the word prodigiously melancholy, prodigiously was telling us how melancholy the person was feeling. So it was modifying the adjective. Here, it's modifying the noun. And when a word modifies a noun, it's an adjective. So, good spotting. Deer is an adjective. Anything else we're questioning? I think we did awesome the rest of the life. Yeah, I think okay. pretty good. All right, let's go over it just to make sure. My is a pronoun. Yes. What kind of pronoun? Possessive. 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 Possessive, right. Deer is an adjective Deer sweet Fido. because it Deer modifies Fido. the noun, Fido. Fido. Sweet mm, is an adjective, Fido. modifies Fido. the noun, Fido. Sumo mm, is noun. a noun, possessive noun, excellent. And proper. And proper. And concrete. And concrete. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
Um, best is an adjective because yeah, it's, it's describing, describing what noun? Friend. 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 And friend is a noun. Um, will, we talked about, is showing us the tense that it's going to happen in the future. I messed up. Celebrate, no. action, verb, predicate, somebody listed here, right? Celebrate is an action. We love to do that. You Celebrate. can do it. Is is a pronoun. What kind of pronoun? Possessive. 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 Fifth is an adjective because it describes the noun birthday. 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 There's another reason we know birthday is a noun because there's an adjective describing it. And that's what adjectives do. Um, and uh, on is a preposition, and Monday is a noun, and we know that nouns or pronouns usually follow a preposition. It's abstract. Yep. So that all makes sense. So who's ready to tell me about subject predicate? Who can identify subject predicate? Who or what is this sentence all about? Subject. It's not a predicate. What part of speech is a predicate? Verb. 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 So that should make your job a little easier in identifying the predicate. Come on up and identify the predicate. Wait, what's A, B, P? Action, verb, predicate. How many clauses do we have here today? Three. Two. Two. Two clauses? Yeah. Joined by a? Comma. Do we join clauses with a comma? No. Do they usually join it with a conjunction? Usually with a conjunction, sometimes with a semicolon. It's a simple. It has to be simple because there's no conjunction. There's no conjunction. We really have a simple. Sentence yeah. that's longer than that. Because you have your positive phrase, and then that's the only reason why it was common. Excellent. Yeah. To what kind of predicate do we have? So we have an action verb. When we have an action verb, what are we going to look for? Direct object. A direct object. And uh, what question are we going to ask ourselves so we know if we have a direct object or not? There we go. That's what we ask ourselves. Is there a clear answer to that question? Yes. yes. All right. Plato celebrates what? His birthday. So there's your clear so answer. His, his so there is your direct object. Fifth birthday. Uh, but we would just go with the noun. Exactly what? Okay. So we are done. Important sentence part, subject, predicate, direct object. That's it. Next is a phrase. Next is phrases. Do we have any phrases here? What kind of phrases have we learned about? Phrases. Um, prepositional phrases? We've learned about prepositional phrases. Do we have any here? No. No. Do we have any prepositions? Yes. Yes. Well, then we probably have a prepositional phrase. Uh, oh, yes. Where's I'll our preposition? His fifth birthday on Monday. So where's our preposition? Uh, is on. So what's our prepositional phrase? Starts with the preposition? On, on Monday. Monday. That's it. Not a very big one, but it is. Could we leave it off? Yeah. What other phrase? Would our sentence make sense without on Monday? Yeah, Monday. Yeah. Yeah. All right, any others? Trinity. Um, the positive phrase. We have an appositive phrase, don't we? Where's the appositive phrase, Trinity? Um, the symbol How do you know that's an appositive phrase? What does an appositive phrase do? Yeah, about the subject or uh, right Fido. the noun. It tells more about Fido. It does. It tells more about Fido. Who Fido is? He's Sumo's best friend, sure. right? Gives more information about Fido. And what's the other thing? Um, the commas. Yes, <laughs> surrounded by commas. All right, so where do we go from here? Type of sentence. We have four types of sentence. Oh, exclamatory. Exclamatory. How do you know it's exclamatory? The exclamation part. Right. Yes. Now sentence structure. Here we are sentence structure. There's one. the symbol I. It is a simple I. Just to show you that a simple sentence doesn't mean it's short. It's a simple independent clause. One clause.